Hello everyone, this is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in this video lesson we are going to learn about brackets code editor. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. So brackets code editor is an open source code editor which is developed by Adobe. So if you just go to this particular link, that is brackets.io, you see that you have this download option. So at the time of creating this video, the version is brackets 1.14. So this might change based on when you're watching this particular video. So you can install brackets on your Windows machine or your Mac or even in your Linux distribution as well. So whatever we are going to cover in this particular video series is with respect to Windows. And if you're working on Mac, you can follow the similar procedures and definitely it will work on Mac as well, right? Now, uh, the important question is like, why do we need uh, brackets? So there are a lot of code editors which are available in market. For example, we have Sublime Text and we have Atom, we have Visual Studio Code. Then we have the basic text editor, for example, Notepad or even Notepad++, right? So personally, I prefer this uh, brackets code editor because it is extremely good when it comes to HTML, CSS or JavaScript coding. So for uh, front-end web designing, this code editor is one of the best code editor which I have seen personally. Now, here I'm not encouraging everyone to use brackets. This is for those who wants to explore brackets. And if you are comfortable with other code editors, for example, if you're comfortable with uh, Sublime Text, go ahead and please use that. If you are comfortable with Atom, you can use that as well. So I'm not saying that brackets is better than all these code editors, but this is what personally I think that for me, brackets is the best when it comes to front-end designing. So when I say front-end designing, that means when I code HTML, CSS or JavaScript, personally, I think that for me, this is better compared to other code editors. Now, what we are going to cover in this entire video series is that we are going to install this uh, brackets code editor on Windows. And there are a lot of functionalities and features related to this particular code editor, which we are going to explore. So we are going to explore all these menus, right? From the very basic to detail level. And then we will see all these options. For example, what are working files? What is this getting started? What is this main screen? Then what is this live preview? Then we have extension manager. Then we have a lot of other things, right? So we are going to explore all these. And there are important features in the brackets code editor which I personally like. For example, this live preview is extremely helpful because once you click that, you will see that this particular file is opened on the web browser. And if I do any changes here, for example, if I just write here, for example, let's say this is your guide. Welcome to tutorial brain, right? Now, if you notice, I have not yet saved. Okay, so I have not yet saved this file. And if I just go to the browser, you see that our changes is reflecting here, right? So this is a very good feature of brackets. Now, please ignore this uh, error because we are directly doing the changes on this uh, index.html file, which is present in this default location. So uh, brackets does not give you permission to modify this index.html, which is present in the root folder. So please ignore this error at this moment. And there are other features as well. For example, if I just click on say in between this tag, if I just give control E, okay, you see that it has directly opened the CSS file. So this is a quick edit feature of brackets, which is too good. Personally, I like it so much that it has helped me a lot, okay. So, for example, if you just see this background color is in white, right? Now, if I just change it, for example, let me just change it to say F123. And you notice that it has changed the background color from white to pink, right? Now, let me just change it to FFF. And again, 
you see that it has changed the color to white now right so there are a lot of other features in brackets which you will truly love so stay tuned with me and i'll show you how brackets code editor will excel your career from one level to another level leave a comment below if you have any question i will try to answer it so thanks for watching it make sure you like comment and subscribe take care bye